Hi, my name is Brent Sanders and I am an Applications Engineer at AFL. Today I will be covering the conversion of a first and second generation ATGN Trunnion to a dual Trunnion tangent support. The tools required for this conversion include a 9 16th inch socket wrench, impact wrench, DATGN dual Trunnion conversion kit, and a drill with a 7 16th inch drill bit approved for use with aluminum. The first step is to determine which ATGN base you are using. Look at the top down view of the ATGN Trunnion base to identify whether the installed version is the Generation 1 or the Generation 2. Once identified, proceed with the conversion steps necessary for that generation. For Generation 1, begin by removing the trunnion from the wood pole by loosening the lag screw with the impact wrench with the socket suitable for the customer supplied attachment hardware. Next, remove the ATGN cap bolt with the 9 16th socket wrench and remove the ATGN cap by rotating the cap 90 degrees from the trunnion and removing the attachment point through the slot. Secure the trunnion back to the pole using the lag bolt prior to drilling. Drill the original manufactured base threads in the body of the trunnion using the 7 16th inch drill bit. With the ATGN base stripped of threads, loosen the lag bolt once more to install the dual trunnion adapter. With the adapter at a 90 degree angle from the trunnion base, drop the adapter attachment point into the slot and rotate to engage the attachment. Mount the trunnion back on the wood pole using the customer supplied attachment hardware and impact wrench. Secure the first pushing set by installing the adapter body with the original 3 8 inch bolt removed in the second step. Install the original cap in the trunnion adapter by rotating the cap 90 degrees from the trunnion adapter and inserting the cap attachment point into the slot. Finally, place the second bushing set in the housing and install the ATGN cap with the inch and a quarter long 3 8 hex bolt included in the dual trunnion conversion kit. For generation 2, begin by removing the ATGN cap bolt with the 9 16 socket wrench and remove the ATGN cap by lifting the attachment point through the T-slot. Drill the original manufactured base threads in the body of the trunnion using the 7 16 inch drill bit. With the ATGN base stripped of threads, the dual trunnion adapter can now be installed. Insert the adapter attachment point by dropping the attachment point through the T-slot and the trunnion base. Secure the first bushing set by installing the adapter body with the original 3 8 bolt removed in the second step. Install the original cap in the trunnion adapter by rotating the cap 90 degrees from the trunnion adapter and inserting the cap attachment point into the slot. Finally, place the second bushing set in the housing and install the ATGN cap with the inch and a quarter long 3 8 hex bolt included in the dual trunnion conversion kit. This video is intended as a quick reference guide for the conversion of the first and second generation ADSS trunnion to a dual trunnion tangent support. If you have additional questions, please feel free to contact me or your AFL applications engineer.